The development of a cancer vaccine has been something of a holy grail to the field of oncology. The idea of generating a therapy against a patient's own tumor to help their immune system better respond to the cancer mutations that are present within that tumor. This would represent a huge advancement in what we are able to provide for patients in cancer care. Cancer is caused by the accumulation of mutations in normal human cells. The genetic makeup of a patient's cancer is unique to that person. No person has the same spectrum of mutations as another person, even within a particular cancer type. That's what makes cancer such a unique disease. We are specifically looking for the types of mutations that result in changes on proteins called neoantigens, which are subsequently recognized by the immune system as abnormal and targeted for destruction. This area of research has really captured our imagination of what is possible in the development of cancer therapeutics and may represent an important advancement in the fight against cancer. So the doctor takes a sample of the tumor and blood and sends that out for sequencing. During the sequencing process, mutations are identified which correspond to neoantigens that are expressed on tumor cells. The types of neoantigens that are expected to be recognized by the immune system are then uh, ranked using a special algorithm to identify which neoantigens should go into the therapy. I'm most proud of our mission to put patients first and to execute trials with scientific rigor that answers questions that are very important, addressing unmet needs in human disease and providing new therapies to patients that need them. Now we're looking at a potential therapy that is building upon the learnings of immunotherapy trials from the past and incorporating into that individualized cancer care that is specific to a patient's own tumor.